believe it or not, a game that is just the Chow Garden from Sonic Adventure is like one of the top 10 things I've wanted most in life. You guys know I'm all about competitive Pokemon and Pokemon breeding, so the system in the Chow Garden was like the proto me getting super crazy into competitive Pokemon and being able to like do that again or have a game designed around it just sounds amazing. Also, I decided that I'm going to name all of the Bobos I get after the first Pokemon they remind me of. So we got an orange little dude right here. That's definitely Torchic. So let's get into the gameplay loop. What you do is you go to the forest and you get yourself a Bobo and then you feed it. And then that's going to give it stats and you can use that for competitions like what we had in the Chow Garden. And then there's breeding. There's countless different Bobo types and colors and all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up all these fruits and I'm going to give it to my dude so he gets strong. Oh, right. I got so excited to play this game. I forgot to mention that the dev gave me early access to play the game. If you're interested in Bobo Bay, add it to your wish list on Steam and you can play the demo starting July 18th. All right, so let's see what's going on with our Bobo. Grade D determines the Bobo's potential to level up. A Bobo must evolve. We also have grade points, the maximum levels a Bobo can achieve in its stats. Circles show the levels used and levels remaining. There we go, and that goes into the stat points. The number and color bar displays the points for the stat, and then we also have the potential. Each stat has a grade determining its max points. White outline shows the potential. So yeah, our points, eh, they ain't that crazy. Level up progress. Filled circles show progress towards the next grade. Competing competitions advances this. So you can get levels through competitions, and then we got traits and fun stuff like that. So I tried giving him this thing, but he doesn't want it. So something about the grade or potential or how much you can feed him. So let's just take him to competition. All right, so we go here, we interact with the terminal, we go to baby's first steps, and then pick him up, put him on the pedestal. That's going to be how we start the competition. We gave him some fruit, so he's got a little bit going for him. And now it's now it's like the mini game from the Chow Garden. You can also hype him up, but we don't want to drain too much stamina. Yeah, look at him go. Dude is blitzing the competition. Yeah, we can just drain all the stamina and win 17 seconds, get wrecked, my dude's the best. Now we get rewards and experience and money. So we had 160. How much does that leave us with? Oh, he's tired. That makes sense. All right, so we have the courtyard where we can buy some stuff for our Bobo. So let's see how, how that works. Strength by a large amount. Oh, I guess that just like puts them in the garden and you should always be, be buying everything non-stop with your prize winnings. Yeah, little, little bro's just tired. Uh, don't have enough for that stuff now. So we can head back out. Oh, that's cool. It just kind of pops out and then you, you can feed your dude some stuff. So a small increase in every stat, really. Does he want to eat it? Nah, he's out. So I guess, yeah, the Bobo's tired which means we just call it a day. Okay, so we got two points in run, but that's not enough to give us levels to like expand our potential. So yeah, the run and jump ain't really gonna go too much, but acceleration also getting a little bit. So let's go and grab another Bobo and feed them some stuff. Make sure you go to the forest each day to find some new Bobos. That's kind of cool. Also, how much this expands seems like it could get really neat where you have like larger forests in different areas and you like really go out and hunt down some bobos and stuff now we got this groovy little green dude blue and green hmm i wonder what he's going to be called and then we can check out the stats and potential we have a free runner so this dude's going to do some crazy parkour stuff with a lot of run and acceleration also strength so we're not, we're not that great on the agility and, and jump and stuff, but the agility with free runner sounds like an interesting combo or just a waste. And then I guess I can just kind of give him stuff and that'll be pretty cool. But also, like, if I just have these items here and I keep buying items every day, we can save these for, like, our really good Bobos. All right, so we want to give Oddish the goods that increases run by a large amount. 
And yeah, we have a thousand now, so that's that's a lot. Uh, agility. Oh man, the micromanaging already sets in. So agility ain't really there. The run can keep going up. The acceleration and stamina can keep going up. Can they only eat like three fruits a day? Maybe. We also have the watermelon. So I think, ironically, Torchic wants that because of the speed. That could also be fun for the naming. Where it's like, well, I want to name the Bobo based off its color and what it's good at. Okay, so the color of the stat is also its grade, which I guess we can kind of see where it's like, yeah, blue is good. Pink is mid. Red is bad. And I want to hold on to these because you can only feed a Bobo, seems like, three times. So with these every stat boost ones, yeah, let's put that into, like, a good Bobo. And then we could just, like, compete and race our Bobos, and I'll figure out the stat system a little more. Because there's quite a bit to the system. It's like learning about EVs and IVs and power items in Pokemon for the first time. So mashing is effectively breeding, and that's going to have, like, combos and interactions. So... Mash Bobos take a random selection of the stack grades from the parents and then add an additional point into one of them. So that's how you can go from D rank to C rank because it gives you a new total grade. Which means that like the D grade is based off of all the levels and all the potential. So if we take a look at our stats, it makes a bit more sense. Run and jump, those are E. Climb, swim, stamina, those are D. C on the other ones. And then we get B, A, I'm guessing S tier. So whenever we like mash, we can like randomly get one of those upgraded and that's going to be the overall grade. So that makes sense that like, oh, the D is the overall grade by averaging the stack grades and the potential of that. Okay, so leveling it up puts it into the next grade, which means like if our acceleration went up, we would go from C to B and that would, I guess, cost a level point. So level points make up for not like perfectly breeding all S tier Bobo stuff and then you can compete to get where it wants and hopefully that's a, a correct assumption that also means let's go and bring our dudes to competition and now that we have multiple bobos we can compete in multiple races oh and that also shows us the money so like oh we got an amount but yeah it's like 125 170 340 if we somehow get the skateboard and then we can look at the map and be like okay there's going to be some swimming Maybe a little bit of climbing, and then just a much larger stamina-driven one. This has breakable boards, so that's going to need a little bit of strength. Three-star being harder and having more. So yeah, little water train, which means we want our Bobo that's good at swimming to participate in this one, I imagine. And we gave him some. We gave him a little bit off of that fruit. Oh, which also kind of makes sense, because the reward for the easy one was the water fruit. So then we can do punch it for the other Bobo and get some races and stats and money and then turbo boost and make our Bobo strong if we win, which we should. Oh, look at Torchic go. Dude's a missile, my goodness. I'm, I'm a little worried about stamina, depending on how long this race- Oh wait, that was it? It was just like a quick one. I, I thought it was gonna be larger. So yeah, we could've just blasted that. Let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be a long one. Hopefully we don't get completely trounced. Uh, we're getting completely trounced. Alright, what do we get? 304. Ooh, got a little bit. We didn't completely brick today. Milk, Skyberry. Yeah, we just buy everything. Because we can. Oh. Oh. Bunny cracker. Hop, hop. I guess so. Uh, that was all of our money. Maybe. We get some good stuff out of that. And nothing hidden over there. Okay. So I watched like a dev vlog video and I kind of remember something about like that back alley one i think this has something to do with cosmetics but i don't exactly remember so let's see what happens if we feed this to the dude what did that give us i don't know oh oh it gave him rabbit ears there we go so i was kind of right from barely paying attention to that uh milk 
So we can put this for like the every stat when we get a higher potential Bobo through mashing. Also, that makes me wonder like for the breeding, where if you even have like D rank ones, well, what you do is you level them up, drain all those levels, then breed them, and the offspring is going to be pretty strong. So let's give acceleration to Oddish. And then we just got some other stuff where it's like, oh, stamina. Want to give that to our runner. Don't forget, you can bring multiple Bobos. I didn't do that yesterday, but I kind of knew you could. But snapping my fingers didn't make them all follow me, but I guess I did it wrong. Got it. It's not that I didn't... It's not that I forgot. I just didn't exactly know. And then another grade D. Oh, this one's just beyond trash. But he's a brawler. Because so I got... Oh, I think... See, like, I do that. He's not... Fo oh, wait. He oh, I guess you just do it near them. And that gets him to follow. Yeah. Alright, so we got another baby first steps. We got climbing and the doggy paddle. Plus climbing walls. Okay. But... Oh, no. That means I also have to register this dude. But it also means I want to put more swim onto Torchic for the doggy paddle. What do you mean we'll earn no money because Bobo is rank higher than the competition? He's got no rank. Okay, now I'm a little confused because we have the E rank, but I thought we already did the E rank, and none of my Bobos are below E rank. Like, this dude's just horrible, but it says we'll earn no money. So even though it said I will earn no money, I earned a little bit of money. So I guess that'll happen. And also you get the stat points, I guess. So it gives us a little bit of experience. We get our item. So I guess we just got to do it. Okay, so Oddish absolutely smoked the last competition. This one seems kind of long, though. So let's hope our little guy can... Yeah, we don't have as much stamina. We have a lead, but, like, hopefully we don't blow it at some point with just, like, trash climbing or something. We got the swimming. Like, now this is where we pull ahead. Oh, those walls are tall, though. Doing all right? Yo, that... Oh, yo, some of those are freaking quick. Oh, my gosh, some of those are quick. Yeah, I gotta hype my Bobo over the wall to not lose. The red guy's a problem. Oh, the red guy's a problem. Slight amount of strategy being involved. Yeah, we're gaining distance. Gonna hype. Oh, he's 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 feeling bad. He's out of stamina. He burned out. Go, Torchic. Nice. Oh yeah. We snowballing, boys. Yo, we made money, 400, and we still got all this stuff we can buy. All right, and it's going to be a lot more of just getting new Bobos, finding its stats, and then optimizing. So, I mean, we can keep going run, acceleration, stamina. Just got a lot of points in climbing. All right, so we can put some into agility. I'll feed the thick pie so we can get a, an amount of stats. What happened there? All right. And then, I guess, more agility, because that's really all we can feed. So today's Bobo is a climber. Gave him all the climbing fruit. Acceleration is pretty bad. So, I mean, I guess we could have given him, like, some acceleration. Just hit that maximum potential. But getting all those stats actually takes quite a bit to fill up the stat potential bar. And then these guys are tired because I drained all their stamina. So that's just going to happen. Yeah, check the mailbox. Tells you exactly how to play the game for the most part. Oh man. There's there's like nothing good for us to compete in. Wait, our dude's a climber though. We might be able to make up the difference here. Oh, no, that dude's a climber though. Alright, balance beam. Ah, uh, our stamina's not great either. Oh, he's trash. Oh, he's trash. Oh, oh, we're trash. Our agility ain't great. We're going to make it back in the climbing, though. Come on. I really want to win this because it's huge. Oh, the suspense. It's fine. It's fine. It's like a lot of make it off this. Oh, we just drop. 
Oh, it's not even a zoom. Damn. I thought we climbed down. Eh, third ain't bad. Most bobos will eat two or three snacks each day, less if they're in a bad mood. So yeah, like, even though it's fun where it's like, oh, I'm racing and I win, so I'm just going to mash out of stamina. Don't do that. You're just going to waste a day. Uh, what is, what does this letter say? You can do all competitions you see. You have to wait for the day listed below. Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Like, oh, you need to be strategic about your bobos with the upcoming ones. Trade descriptions will come. Yeah. So that's, that's the gameplay. I'm going to keep playing though. I'm going to make it through this demo. Oh wow. This actually looks like a really good bobo to be that balanced. That's what you want. This guy's the goat. And yeah, other than that, here's a couple things from Discord. Workout equipment you can unlock that'll earn potential outside of races for stats. Cool. And then the potential will be decreased by a lot in the full game because it's just demo. You have like one season. Some gets like 30 days for spring. And circles are basically the stat level, raise potential. They only get so many circles based on the big circles. And yeah, uh, big circles are determined by your total grade is what you missed. So the higher total grade, the more circles you have just kind of max out. So maxing out a Bobo seems pretty achievable. Just a good amount of work, more work in the full game. And I'm going to call it on this. Yeah, like I said, I was, I'm going to call it here. We're going to do some more. We're going to get better. We're going to get to mashing whenever that unlocks. And we're going to make this dude the goat. And that's going to be grinding and then cool stuff happens. And the game matters more. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Like, comment, subscribe. If there's nothing you've wanted more in life than a Chow Garden game, you can support the devs on Patreon. You can play the demo on Steam. I got access a day early with a code from the developer. A lot of cool stuff is coming. This seems pretty exciting. And it's like, yeah, this is this is your grindy game that you've been missing. So you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. Also, he's got a little hat now.